When I was younger, I never saw myself as a programmer. Growing up, I spent my days tinkering with gadgets, dreaming of building something that could impact lives. But when I finally sat down to learn Python, it felt overwhelming. Tutorials promised me the world, but I ended up feeling stuck, confused, and to be honest, alone. But if I were to start over, this is exactly how I'd structure my roadmap to becoming a professional Python developer. My first mistake was diving into advanced projects before mastering the basics. Trust me, understanding the fundamentals is your foundation. Spend time here to learn how to write clean, readable Python code. Start with topics like variables, loops, conditionals, and functions. And don't just watch tutorials, but code along. So instead, I want you to work on mini projects for every new concept you learn. For example, you can write a simple calculator or create a basic to-do list app, because by doing that, you're actually building memory muscles for your brain. One of my biggest mistakes was being in tutorial hell. I was jumping from one YouTube tutorial to another and watching hours and hours of videos without practice Practicing, fooling myself into thinking I understood the concepts, while in reality, I didn't. But here's what you will do differently to avoid it. Watch a tutorial only if you need to understand a specific concept, then immediately build something using that concept. I want you to think of it like this, 20% learning and 80% building. That way, the sooner you start writing your own code, the sooner you'll become independent. Next is the power of consistency. Consistency is king, because when I started, I'd learn for hours in one day and then skip coding for the next week. But guess what? I forget everything. So I want you to commit to coding every day, even if it's just 30 minutes. It's just like working out, because small daily efforts build strong habits, and those habits will carry you through the challenging times. Next is to learn by teaching. One of the best ways I solidify my knowledge is by teaching Python on programming. When I started creating tutorials, I realized how much I didn't know. Explaining concepts forced me to understand them on a deeper level. You don't actually need a YouTube channel to do this. You can teach a friend or even write a blog post. Now, once you've got the basics down, you need to start building projects that excite you. But don't just follow project tutorials. Pick ideas that you are so much excited about. My breakthrough came when I built a leaf disease detection app. It was far from perfect, but I learned more in that single project than I did in weeks of tutorials. Lastly, you need to join a community. Coding can feel isolating, but it doesn't have to be. Find a community. Whether it's a local meetup, an online forum, or a Discord server, being around like-minded people will keep you motivated. When I joined my first coding group, I realized that everyone, even advanced developers, struggles. So it's okay to ask for help. Finally, you need to remember that your ultimate goal is progress and not perfection. Python is an incredible language, but your success isn't about mastering it overnight. It's about showing up, staying curious, and building something meaningful. If I can do it, so can you too. And when you hit a wall, because you will, just remember why you started. Thanks for watching. As always, take care.